How many glitches have you experienced, Grendel? Um, I don't know, what is this, like, the fourth stream of it? And I've experienced, like, none? The game is, uh... The game has been kind to me. I mean, it looks like but I haven't had it really run like The game's been nice to me. Game Freak gave me my own copy of Pokemon that's better than your copy of Pokemon, making me a much stronger and better person than you. That's a huge dog. Oh, wiki feet. That's a- Oh, that's- I'm, I'm walking away. Walking- walking away. I don't have that koala yet. I don't care. I don't know that koala. Don't say sexy pig about the pig Pokemon. We've just started. Left, right, left, right, left, right, down, B, getting the ball. We literally have just started the stream, like, eight minutes ago, and already, sexy pig, I wanna f*** that pig, stop it. Damn, this is a ghost zone, ain't it? This is where all the Pokemon get buried. Oh, f***. The boy! What level is the boy? Where am I at? What is the- what is the level for this area? Show me the boy. Level 52, I gotta get the f*** out of here. That boy too strong for me. That's a powerful boy right there. A little too much for me. Oh, son of a- what the fuck is this fish? Who are you? Get away from me! You're too strong! I fucked up. I'm in the wrong area for fights like these. I fucked up. Tatsuguri- Tatsuguri is a dragon type. I never should have come here, I agree. They got a lot of big scythers around here. I fucked up. They are pleasantly plump, and I am the opposite of pleasantly plump. I am small and weak and infertile. They look and laugh at me. They laugh and look at me. Give me this. I don't know what that is, but I want to know what it is. Oh, Garchicha! The go- the go- the go- the boy! What is this? What have I found here? There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Yes. What did I do? When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. I'm destroying history, just like any normal guy would. Don't mind me. Ladies and gentlemen, don't mind me. I'm just destroying historical artifacts. <laughs> I have a little bit of an archaeology problem. I see archaeology. I think it's a problem. I start crushing old runes and tablets. <laughs> Fuck history. So like an old archaeologist, yeah, I'm going to capture a bunch of mummies from old ancient Egyptian tombs and then keep them in my house for a little treat. A little treat for me. A little Brendan treat. What is even the point of streaming at 1080p when the game itself runs at 240p? This is true upscaling. This. Oh, I literally just saw a grid. I want to see the grid again. Let me back into the gr Let me back into the grid. Show me the grid again. Fucking cows, dude. Cows are cowards. Yeah. No, they're not, actually. Don't fuck with cows, by the way. This is not an invitation to, like, fuck with cows. Like, do not go out into the local farm and start pushing beef, okay? I swear to you, things will not go over the way that you with which you want them to go over. You're going to go and punch beef, and it's going to be a problem for everybody. Don't just go around punching beef. Cows are scary. If you have six badges, go for the sex type gym. Stop it. Grow up. Stop it. Motherfucker pull out Gardevoir, fucking Gudra, fucking... <laughs> stop! 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 Behold these muscles. What the fuck did you just say to me? Fight me. Don't you dare- I built these muscles by many trips to the gym. Fuck you. I'm gonna deflate you. I'm gonna get one of those gigantic knitting needles, and I'm gonna deflate you. Oh, he's got car! Rev rev room! Wow, that's so cool. Dude, that's awesome. Cool car. Sweep! Oh fuck, he poisoned me, didn't he? Yeah, there it is. I fucking saw that coming a mile away, dude. Nice car! Do you ride your Pokemon to the grocery store? Huh, freak? Getting mommy's bread and milk? Are you out there in the grocery store and you're riding your Pokemon, getting bread and milk for mommy? Are you a bread and milk kind of boy? Getting mommy's bread and milk, huh? You, uh, go, why don't you go back to the grocery store? Go get mommy some bread and milk, huh? Easy. Fucking done. Fucking crunched. Fucking done. Finally, a wide-ranging Brendaniel sweep. We've looked at the box office numbers. We've crunched the box office office numbers. We've looked directly at the box office numbers. And let me tell you, fucker, it's a Brendaniel sweep! How do these people always have one or two Pokemon? They're everywhere and Pokeballs are everywhere, too. Uh, here's the thing. Everybody in the Pokemon world except for me, very smart man with an incredibly large brain, everybody except for me in the Pokemon world is clearly inept, stupid, smelly, and bad. These are all words that I would use as descriptors for the people who live in the Pokemon world. Now me, I'm smart. I know I'm the kind of guy who will be able to coupon save anytime I want to go to the grocery store. These motherfuckers though, they're just going to the grocery store and buying bread and milk for mom. Full price. 
Full price. Not even looking for a deal, not even bartering with a cashier. My luxurious brain can't handle their ineptitude. I'm very smart, and they're very stupid. So that's why they carry one to two Pokemon while I carry six fully fucking formed henchmen. What fucking psycho out here paying full price for Malk? Come the fuck- grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Don't ever pay full price for Malk. Do you think I'm strong enough to take on the one baby? I- I can destroy a baby. I could annihilate a baby. You bring a couple of babies to me and I will start throwing them fast and furious. I could annihilate a couple of babies. I could annihilate every baby in a tri-state area, but I choose not to. I choose to hold back a little bit on my power. I, cho I choose to be careful. Anyway, baby. Game wants to set me up against a big baby. That's fine. We'll fight a baby. I'm good with that. Brendan challenges all single moms to a Pokemon battle. They throw out their baby. Brendan throws out his fists. No, I'm going to get a mimic and I'm going to wear an outfit. Right? I'm going to wear a fighting outfit, just like a fighting man would wear, right? And then I'm going to challenge these single moms to Pokemon battles. They'll have no choice. They'll have to send out their baby. And then I will send out my mimic, my ditto, who looks exactly like me, but he's wearing a cool Naruto headband. And he's wearing a karate G. And he beats the fucking living shit out of their level 8 baby. Because he's level 69, nice, and he can't evolve any further. I also hate Bound Sweet. There are a couple of grass-type Pokemon that I fucking hate. I agree with you. You're so right, bestie. Is that a fucking... Oh, it's fucking tea time, in it? Oh, are you fucking ready for it? Oh, I'm fucking ready for it. Getting the fucking ball in. Oi! Stay in that fucking ball in. It's time for tea. I got him. Sinus tea. Oh, the phony form. Sinistee gets into your body when you drink it, then it steals your vitality from within. It also tastes awful. Don't put your gorilla pill in your Sinistee. Send Brinus to the box. Goodbye, Brinus. Brendan, how dare you not cater your stream to the international market? Yeehaw, motherfuckers! Welcome! God bless me, American maid. My name is Brian Daniel. Y'all find out right quick why they call me that. Yeehaw! Come on out, John Marston. Let's rock and roll all night long. Sweet Susie, look at him. He am a boy. I gotta fucking just, I gotta walk a thousand steps with him. Fucking ba da 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 I guess I'll walk around with him for a little while. You pick, you, you pick the one Pokemon that like, hey Brendan, to evolve this Pokemon, you gotta walk around for fucking 20 minutes. And then you get cool Pokemon. One of these times I'm literally gonna walk past a shiny and chat's gonna laugh at me. I legitimately don't know what they look like. Oh, get back, get get outside. Don't you dare walk away. You gotta stay outside. I gotta walk with you. Stay out here with me. We're walking through the town. We're checking out, we're checking out the, the, the sights and sounds. Walk faster. Walk faster. You're not fast enough. Walk faster. Been having some nice battles. I don't know you. Stranger danger. I don't know you. Stranger danger. Get out here. We're walking around, freak. Don't go back into your Pokeball unless I tell you to. I hope I'm not getting gaslit here. Because it was one. You know what? I kind of hope I am getting gaslit here because it would be really funny. What if somebody just fucking lied to me about this? Hey, Brendan, it's a thousand steps. <laughs> and then it evol it'll evolve. <laughs> and then I'm going to fucking cry. Real? You also have to level it up, by the way. Oh, okay. I don't know how many steps is a thousand. Why does the protagonist have a pedometer to count steps like Diamond and Pearl? Uh, because Pokemon Company hates you. The Pokemon Company despises you specifically. Do you remember when there was knocking on your door and you found a big pile of barf right outside? That was the Pokemon Company. They did that. Game Freak more like Game Freaking Out, man. No! I fucking- another one! I'm out of here. I'm beset on all sides by Cup. This is, this is, that was actually the experience of what it's like whenever chat says, spell iCup, Brendan. Brendan, spell iCup. That was, that was legitimately me being crowded by chat. 50 chat members all up in my shit yelling, spell iCup, Brendan. Spell iCup, Brendan. Brendan, spell iCup, Brendan. Brendan, spell iCup, Brendan. I C U P. I said, I said it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I see you pee. I see you pee. I get it. I get it. I, I'm a freak. Spell I cup, Brendan, or you'll never see your wife again. Uh, I I can't. Why not, Brendan? I know what I'll, it'll it'll sound like. You're gonna get me. I'll get got. 
Spell I cup, Brendan. We don't want to go through this all over again now, do we? I see you pee. Oh, you see me pee. What a freak. Uh, Got you again, Brendan. I'll see you in a year. <laughs> and that's me crying. That's how I cry. That's why I'm an ugly crier. Chat running around doing ring around the rosy, but also yelling at me, calling me a freak. Yelling, freak, 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 freak. Come on, Brendan, sing the freak song. We know you want to. Hey, Brendan, we know you're a fucking coward. I bet you won't sing the freak song. I'm a freak. No, Brendan, that's Creep by Radiohead. Sing the freak song. I don't know what the freak song is. You'll figure it out. Just do your best. Can I still climb this? No! Anything under waterfall? Nothing. Nothing. Bad game. Bad game. Come on, Brendan, sing the freak song. This gun is live ammunition. I have nothing to live for. I, I don't want to sing the freak song anymore, please. Don't make me. Come on, Brendan. You know you want to. You know you have to. I'm just a little guy. And I'm a little freak. I love to eat dirt and sand and rocks, because I'm a little freak. There, leave me alone. Great job, Brendan. Here, some oats and grains for you. Oh, fuck. You know I love my oats and grains. I need more coins. Fight me. Brendan, how do ladders work? You climb them. With your hands and feet, you climb them. You get all the way to the top. You climb them. Think of this. If you want to know how ladders work, think of this. When you walk into that boardroom meeting and your boss says, Hey, Brendan, do you really want to climb the corporate ladder? They point directly at the ladder in the middle of the building and say, Brendan, climb that ladder. You gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta do it. At that point, you're committed. You gotta do it. You gotta climb that ladder. And you don't know when that ladder ends. The ladder goes up in ad finitum. It doesn't stop. Uh, the flowers are asking you to spell I cup, Brendan. No! I'm not spelling I cup. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. Listen to the flowers, Brendan. Listen to the birds, the sun, the trees, the moon, Brendan. They're all yelling at you, Brendan. They're all yelling for one simple thing, Brendan. They just want you to do one thing, Brendan. Spell I cup. No! At Turkey Day, my grandma brought all of her little, her little things that she makes. And she's been making a bunch of random shit for Barbies for some reason, just for like fun. Which like, props to her, my grandma's cool. Um, but I finally got her to admit that she raided my account for my Abyssal Whip. I got grandma confirmation. Finally, finally, I have confirmation that she for sure raided my RuneScape account when I was a kid and stole my Abyssal Whip with my uncle. She finally admitted to it after all these years. She was like, oh, that whip. Oh, I loved that whip. She has finally admitted to raiding my RuneScape account. Did you get it recorded though? I don't need that. I just needed to feel like I needed to feel like it was real, that I didn't make it up. It was real. They stole three million gold my dragon chain mail, and my obby whip. Picks or it didn't happen. I'm not worried about pictures. This is this is closure for me. I don't care about you. What do you think, fucking oh, Brendan? Oh, Brendan, oh, Brendan. I bet your grandma didn't even steal your obby whip. Go to reddit.com slash r slash nothing ever happens. Sometimes you just gotta deal with it. Sometimes your grandma really wants your obby whip. She takes it. It's hers now. It's not my obby whip anymore. It's hers. It's been hers since 2008. So sad. I miss it every day. To be fair, I can't even access that account anymore. That was my uh, Hulk Hogan 311 account. I can't even access my old RuneScape account, Hulk Hogan 311, which was before the alligate, before like the, the 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 stuff that happened with Hulk Hogan. Of course, this was an account made when I was a child. She saved you from playing RuneScape in your in your 30s. Yeah, fair. I played RuneScape like two years ago. I made a new account and everything, and then that, that account got like. Hacked somehow, which was really cool. Thank you, Jagex. I didn't get an email that it got hacked. I literally had to find out by trying to log into it one day just to see what was up. Thanks, Jagex. RuneScape stream win. I did one, like, three, four years ago. And then I decided, you know what, fuck this. Why the fuck am I playing RuneScape? The boy! Fuck you. This sucks. This sucks, man! This dude sucks, man. I'm out of here. I'm putting that boy back in the box. This dude sucks, man! Brendan would eat... Would you eat a dill burrito? What does that even mean? Brendan, would you eat a dill burrito? burrito? What, what do you mean? What are, what are words? What is language? A burrito with Dilbert in it? No. I don't want to fucking eat a burrito with Dilbert in it. What? No. That's human flesh. I don't want that. 
Ew. They were microwavable wedge veggie burritos made by Scott Adams. Ew. No, those are poison. That sounds like poison. What Pokemon uh, are you guys... I look over at the chat and they're talking about, would the Confederacy exist during the Pokemon world? Uh, no, it wouldn't. Probably. No. No, because there's no Pokemon- there's no Pokemon that's like a pickup truck. There's a car Pokemon now, but there's no Pokemon that's like a full pickup truck, so I'm- I'm- I'm gonna have to go with no. We're gonna be like, no way, and then states no evidence. Well, there you are right there, there's no states in Pokemon. So, oh god, she's buying eyeshadow and makeup on the phone. Did you know Flareon is the most huggable Pokemon? This is a- Dangerously close to Vaporeon territory. I like how the gym leaders in this one, being a gym leader is just secondary to their normal job. Like, they get a challenger and they're like, all right, fucking, all right, fu ah, fuck, ah, fuck, all right, fucking, oh, fuck, oh my god, I forgot about for 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 I forgot about the Girafferig evolution, fuck, fear. Am I gonna get fucking owned by Girafferig? Or sorry, Farid Giraffe? I'm fighting a turkey right now. I'm doing this for you, Thanksgiving fans. Espathra, stuff it in the cornucopia. Bird, stuff it in the cornucopia. Critical hit. Don't stuff that in the cornucopia. Get that out of there. French horn, stuff it in the cornucopia. Turkey has been pardoned. Oh, but the vice president coming in with a fucking DDT out of nowhere. Oh, no. I, no, keep this Pokemon out. No, keep, keep, keep Bob out. Florgis? What is a Florgis? Florg Florg a Florgus board? Brendan, what do you- uh, Brendan, you have to go back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. Uh, didn't you know, uh, Krakatoa, that's actually a, a weird anagram of my name. If you- if you mix all the letters in Krakatoa uh, around and fuck them up a little bit, you get Bren Daniel. I did that. That was me. Please don't moonblast me. This is like the Ranala fight. Oh, fuck me. Now don't come at me again. <laughs> Give me the badge. Give me the fucking selfie and give me the badge. Will you please take a second selfie with me? I love your makeup tutorials, and I'm a really big fan. Will you please take a selfie with me? I'm a huge fan. I got all your videos on a USB drive in case the internet goes out and the world is doomed to a constant apocalypse. <laughs> I have a fuel generator and a laptop in my big bunker. Would you like to come by some time and see all my creamed corn? Please take a selfie with me. The only thing I can't prep is a broken heart. Yoga! Don't go uploading that selfie to the internet now. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'll put it on Facebook and saying Tulip is my close personal friend. Why so many waterfalls not have secret nowadays? When back in my day, there were so many waterfalls that had secret. Right? I love Pokemon that are like the monsters in movies. I also love Pokemon when they look exactly like former Vice President Dick Cheney, the greatest monster of them all. <laughs> Great impression, Mr. Mime! Uh, put down that gun, Mr. Mime! More like beg on these nuts. Got him. We did it, we did it, we did it. I can't believe my monster was defeated. Wait a minute, what movie does Bagon look like it's from? Fucking Toy Story 3? Bagon, Sheldon, and Salamance. Not any of them are movie monster quality Pokemon. Fuck you. Not a single one of them I'd want to see in a movie with a monster in it as well. Fuck you. Liar. Oh yeah, Sheldon Cooper. I get it. <laughs> Bazinga. Dude, I love how the Whoopers just live in the mud. They love living in the muck, hanging out. They live in the muck, they die in the muck. Brendan, you know you love your heavy water. You can't get enough of it. You said five streams ago, Brendan, that you would drink it right up anytime you saw it. You should get a giant Hamter water bottle feeder. Yeah, but then we're getting dangerously close to fetish territory. As much as I would love the idea of a Hamter water bottle feeder, um, we're getting dangerously close to fetish territory with that one, so I'm gonna have to use an executive decision and strike that one down, bud. What, is she lost? Ma'am, do you require assistance? Are you lost on, at, at sea? Uh, I, I, this model fell off the big yacht, had to swim to this tiny island. A uh, nice Finian. Hope it doesn't, uh, bring out your dead! what I say? what I say? I said bring out your dead. And you brought them out. They didn't know they was dead until I deaded them. Damn right I'm getting a good education. My mom paid for school and I ain't been there in three weeks. School literally just handed me a big Laffy Taffy and said, fuck off. Get out there and uh, go on a wacky, crazy adventure. You know what? I'm down with that. Fuck yeah. School be like, get out there. Get wacky. Get crazy. We don't give a shit. Fend for yourself, kid. Get stupid. Get wacky. Get gyarados There's a creature. Rar, rar. There's doobie chat. That is how chat be acting some days. Do you want to see my super cool Pokemon figurines? No, chat. You can keep them to yourselves. You're challenged by Frederico the Pokemaniac. I don't want to see your Funko Pops. 
I don't care that you brought them out with you. Put them away. Put your figures away. I want to see your figmas. Nice of the gym leader to invite us for a battle. Hey, Bryn Daniel. Oh, that's right, Chet. Oh, I can't wait. I can't do it. I can't do a fucking Luigi voice. Stop it. Stop trying to make me do a Luigi voice. I can't do it. Helping you to a pizza pie zone of a pasta passion. A lot of pastries. They keep adding pastries to Pokemon. They've run out. All original thought is dead. All Pokemon are now pastries. Hey, streamer, I just noticed that you're playing a controversial game. Do you have any opinions on controversial game? I think it's fun. I think it runs like shit. It looks like shit, but it's fun. It's a Pokemon game. I wish it didn't run like shit or look like shit, but I'm having fun. I can capture the creatures. I got that going for me. Past that, I mean, it's a Pokemon game. Like, I have zero. I have the lowest of expectations. I knew exactly what I was going to be getting. I knew it would look like shit, and I knew it'd play like shit. But I capture the creature, and then I laugh and giggle and shit my pants a little bit. My ritual works. Everybody else's ritual? Wrong. My ritual works every time. It's coded since red and blue. I know, my dad worked on this game. My dad's name was John Pokemon. Works every time. I'm hip spab Ted Brendan! No, I hope somebody shits in your next sandwich and you don't know until you take a big bite and look down and there's a log in there. You're going to be so frustrated when the next sandwich you eat is fat and full of fecal matter. And that's what I curse you with. I don't even want somebody to poop in your sandwich. I want somebody to go and prepare you a sandwich at a restaurant. And I want, I want, I want their meat patties at that restaurant to be held in the bathroom. So every time somebody shits, the particles in the bathroom, the shit particles that float around in the bathroom, they go and ferment inside the meat. So you don't know, you think it's fine, you think it tastes good, you think it tastes like excellent, you think it's fucking hors d'oeuvre, you think it's hot cuisine, um, but then it's not. And your burger is full of shit. I hope you eat big beef Texas style shit burger. Oh my god, they give, they give them Usopp's hammer. Oh my god. Watch out, boys, watch out, girls, it's time, it's hammer time. Oh, is that Dunsparce or a Dun Dunsparce? No, that's Dunsparce. I can't believe they gave Dunsparce an evolution after 20 years, and it's called Dun Dunsparce. I'm fucking reeling at it. I'm fuming over Dun Dun- fucking Dun Dunsparce. I'm rigid with fucking anger about Dun Dunsparce. I'm literally so mad. Is that a- what it- Ew. Go away. Fucking gross. Ew. 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 What is that, a monkey? Ew. Get away from- Ew. Ape. Yeah, Dunsparce evolves into Dun Dunsparce. What did I run into? Oh, god damn it. You're lying. Dun Dun Sparse isn't real. I'll go into the Pokedex right now. I fought one. I'm gonna go into the Pokedex right now. Dun Dun Sparse is real. Brendan, stop gaslighting us about Dun Dun Sparse. Dun Dun Sparse is right there. Dun Dun Sparse is right there. The Dun Sparse, sorry, not Dun Dun Sparse. The Dun Sparse is right there. They finally did it. They gave Dun Sparse an evolution. But it has just one extra segment. They can have one or two extra segments. That's the power of Dun Dun Sparse. Hey, check it out, guys. I got a ball cap. I made a bunch of new friends. And they're all normal. All normal. They're not part of a cult. They're all normal. No, Mom, they're not part of a cult. I'm just part of Team Star. All my friends are going down to the fucking Denny's. We're gonna buy five grand sandwiches and we're gonna throw them into the ground. That's what we do, Mom. We hate Denny's. We're the Team Star Dropouts, Mom. We hate Denny's. The Commandant of the school is pro-Denny's. That's why we hate this school. Uh, what a bird's we- You know what? Fucking punch this bird. Oh my god. I use protect! Fuck you! You can't just use an impenetrable shield! Shut up! Stop it! Rude! You're cheating! The fucking Pelipper crossed its fingers and said, I have eaten the barrier barrier fruit. Try to pass through my barrier. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck the first three Pokemon. I don't even care who they are. Sure. First three Pokemon in my party? Yeah, easy. Throw them out. They're gonna start ruining lives. Fight. Why aren't you fighting? What are you doing? Oh my god, that hammer is massive. The game be chugging, but I do be spinning. Those aren't even poison. Those are cars. Please get the Haunters and the Gaslies. I need to find five more creatures. There's a creature. We got him. I win. My win. Now fight me. Fight me, leader of Team Star. Fight me. Go get your boss. Bring your boss back here. I talk to your boss. Your boss has a freaky car. Ah, gee. Fucked up car. Third form. Poison. Is that Ezio Auditori from famous video game Assassin's Creed? No. That's Atticus, Poison Master. You're that scoundrel, Brendan. Uh, yeah, definitely, dude. Fight me. Clearly not- clearly- clearly this motherfucker has never seen To Kill a Mockingbird. Clearly- clearly this motherfucker has never played Darkness, The Darkness, for the Xbox 360. 
and watch the entirety of the To Kill a Mockingbird within the game. Clearly. Don't you plague my house. I have enough plagues already. Your scun tank's almost dead. And I'm fat and full. I got so many leftovers. It's literally Thanksgiving. I have so many leftovers. It's literally Thanksgiving. Now we gotta fight his weird car. Revivroom. Oh, you have two? Oh my god, a car- that- what, why the car on top of the car? What, uh, the car is on top of the car. Oh, uh, what? How does it? What? Who, why? What? 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 what uh, the car, there's a car on top of a car. Smithers, car. Yes, Mr. Burns. I <laughs> Smithers, I want that car. Yes, Mr. Burns. Uh, hello, trainer. I uh, gonna need you to grab that car for our uh, Lord and Savior, Mr. Burns. Smithers, muck. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns, I see. Hmm, poison. Oh, fuck, poison not even do with fighting be bad. Fuck. Oh, fuck you and your fucking poison. Now I'm poison. Smithers, bring me my Pokemon hunting gun. Yes, Mr. Burns. Hmm, Smithers, shoot car. There we go, there's your fucking car. That's a big boy now. Now you're bringing out the big boy. I see, I see, you got the hot stuff out here now. I fuck, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Alrighty, are you ready for this? Rage fist! You hurt me. You hurt me plenty. You hurt me. I don't like being hurt. What'd I say? I don't like being hurt. Nice caltrops. Wow, poison debris. Wow. Really gonna help you out. All that poison debris. Yeah, sorry. I'm enraged. Bring out your dead! We got a BOGO on caskets! Buy one, get the next one free! Bring out your dead! 50% off Lightning McQueen child-themed caskets! Found out today that my quiet uncle who works in hospital admin bought a PS5 because he's a huge God of War fan. Turns out he's been a huge nerd my entire life, but just never told me. My great uncle, huge fucking nerd, right? But he had like this... All right, you said secret gamer uncle? Uh, my great uncle, Eddie, uh, apparently was a huge gamer, and I was never allowed into his room at my great grandma's for the longest time. And then I went in there one day, and this motherfucker has like an N64, a PS1, uh, like a fucking Dreamcast, and he's got every episode of Pokemon out at the time on VHS. It was like a treasure trove for me as a kid. Like, he had every episode of Pokemon on VHS. He had the whole Pokemon VHS collection, right? But he also had a lot of things in there on VHS that were anime and animated that were not suitable for children. Meaning, my great uncle, my great uncle Eddie, had a ton of hentai on VHS. Wall to wall VHS porn. And he smoked in there pretty regularly, so the entire ceiling was coated and caked in fucking cigarette scum. It looked almost like a dark black webbing. And I rarely interacted with him. But yeah, Secret Gamer Uncle is very real. That's gross, Brendan. Yeah. It's okay, I snuck in there every once in a while and I played Pokemon Stadium on his N64 instead of mine at home. Like the mold from RE7 and 8? Pretty much, I would say it looked like that. I got a poison picture. You could have stopped at the VHS hentai collection. I could have, but I like to go a little deeper into the nightmare that is my life. I got gunk shot! Aw, oh, sweet, the user shoots filthy garbage at the target to attack. Wow, nice. I'm looking at the Brendaniel lore chat here that was updated a minute ago. Uh, Brendan, the kind of guy who would steal the Wonka Vader and use it to take over hell. Brendan has a- oh well, yeah, there's the gamer uncle right there in the Brendaniel lore chat. I did have a gamer uncle. A gamer great uncle. A gamer grunkle, if you will. Hey Brendan, what type of console do you think Nintendo's next one should be? Like the Switch where it's both handheld and a home console, or should they switch back to those types being separate? I think the gimmick of the Switch is very effective, and I think they should stick to tablet and home console. I think it should be- I think if Nintendo does another console, it should be a home and portable platform. They've given us the Switch, to take it away would be stupid IMO. Because uh, honestly, you know my real reason? Because fuck having a separate portable console. And I say that, I really do say that because as a streamer, I <laughs> really just make a Switch but better. Yeah, that's that's what I feel like. Make a, The Switch has already proven to sell well. They just have to A, have a good enough gimmick, B, have a good enough launch lineup, and C, make it stronger, make it better. We It just needs to be a better Switch. That's it. And, you know, if they're doing it again... 
Have some backwards compatibility with the Switch as well. That'd be fucking awesome. I know that's unlikely because fuck me, right? But uh, it'd be awesome if the next Nintendo console uh, played all the Switch games and was just stronger and better. Because we've kind of reached the limit of what the Switch can do. Not saying that Pokemon Violet and Scarlet are an indication of that. I think these games could have looked a lot better if Game Freak wasn't understaffed eternally. But I really do feel like we're reaching kind of the, the limit with what the Switch can do. Uh, I, I, on the other hand, though, like graphics aren't everything. I, I wish this game's performance was better, but this I don't think the Switch hardware is really what's holding it back completely. I think this game could have looked better and run better on hardware if Game Freak had the necessary resources to be able to do it. It's just a poorly optimized piece of shit. Because game- I, and I don't blame Game Freak for that, I blame the Pokemon company for that. Have us a game- we need a game in three years so we can sell more plushies. Oh, okay, can we, um... Can we get a couple of more employees? Uh, kind of- kind of more people on the back end? No! And yeah, absolutely. Monolith- we've seen what Monolith has done with Xenoblade. We've seen what Monolith has, uh, done with, uh, Breath of the Wild on the back end there. Monolith helped- I believe Monolith helped with Breath of the Wild, and that game's fucking awesome. That game will be 60 bucks forever. Is that a snom? Snom! He's just a little guy. Get him. Left, right, left, right, left, right, down B. Sword and Shield look like shit and Arceus also. Yeah, but Arceus didn't look as shit. How'd they get funding for Xeno? It's not a huge selling series, is it? Xenoblade sells pretty well for an RPG series. It's also Xenoblade 1 and 3 are also some of the best JRPGs, like, ever released. 2 has problems. But 1 and 3 are absolutely amazing. I've watched enough videos on 3, I still haven't fucking- Still haven't fucking bought 3. I refuse to until I beat 1. I would be- I would not be surprised if the general ridicule of the quality of this game gets some people laid off, though, and they do an internal reorganization to not ruin Nintendo's reputation. No. Unless we get some kind of external statement, here's what's gonna happen with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. All of the graphical issues are gonna get swept under the bug, all the- all, uh, under the rug, all of the optimization shit's gonna get swept under the rug. The game sold well, that's what matters. 99% chance of that happening. Because, yeah, it sold 10 million copies already. Yeah, the game sold very well. It's a Pokemon game. It's always going to sell well. You could shit in a game case and say this is Pokemon Poop Brown and people would buy two copies of it. You could say, hey, do you want to buy Pokemon Piss and Pokemon Poop? And it's literally just piss and poop in the game cases and it would sell at least 10 mil. They do not care. Especially with the current, like, game, video game fucking journalism outrage cycle. I'm not saying, and, I, and I'm not trying to diminish the problem with this game being kind of unfinished and fucking uh, a pile of shit at times, but the gamer outrage cycle will forget about this in two weeks. The gamer outrage cycle will forget about this in two weeks because there will be a new outrage. Nintendo fans just eat whatever shit Nintendo rolls out. I mean, that's true for any fan, most fans of most media, is, oh, they rolled out shit. Well, still gonna eat it. Yum, 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 yum. It's, it, there's literally gonna be a new outrage every two weeks, right? To, to think that this will affect Nintendo's bottom line in any meaningful or reasonable way is un unfortunately, like, just not realistic. I just don't see it happening. Unless Nintendo cares enough, which I don't think they will, uh, or Game Freak or the Pokemon cares enough, which I don't think they will, because we're in, like, drive the franchise to the ground territory now. I mean, like, fuck, dude. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are way shittier games. They don't look as bad, but they're way shittier. And, like, they never said shit about those games. Those games are pure boring, right? The gamer outrage cycle, unfortunately, is going to take over and take control. And people will forget about this in two weeks. I mean, sure, you're gonna remember it at the back of your head, right? You're not gonna, like, forget, forget about it. Well, you may, you may lose a couple of customers who may think, Oh, fuck, Pokemon was shit last time. I'm not gonna buy one. But, unless Nintendo literally came out and said, hey, we're sorry for the quality of this game. We're going to do better in the future, and we're going to try to fix this one. Ain't shit going to happen. And they're not going to do that. It's just because we live in the, 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 like I said, the outrage cycle of videos game. The game comes out, game makes people mad. People are mad. People buy the game anyway. And then nothing changes. 
It's like, vote with your wallet. Uh, it doesn't matter. People aren't going to vote with their wallets. And I'm not saying, like, don't get outraged, don't get mad. I'm just saying it's it's unfortunate that the gamer outrage cycle exists. Because you can be as mad as you want, but it's not going to affect their bottom dollar. The only, the only gamer outrage that, like, actually legitimately affects their bottom dollar is when somebody releases a truly heinous piece of shit. Like, Cyberpunk at release. Like, Fallout 76 at release. And those games, it doesn't even matter that they, like tried to fix them or really gave it enough of a shit to go back and try to save their reputation for them. It, those games still made their money back because it's hard to actually light a fire under the capital G hard R gamers. The only time that lighting a fire under capital G and hard R gamers works is when people are personally affected by it to the point of, whoa, if let's say if Scarlet and Violet corrupted saves, then people would be legitimately angry. Let's say the game was actually unplayable. Then you would see backlash to the point where you may even get a response from the big boy Nintendo or the big boy Game Freak themselves. But the game's still mostly functional. And even though it looks like shit, still can capture those creatures. Like I said, I don't, I don't mean to denigrate or, or make anybody feel like, oh, they can't get angry about this shit. I don't, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't be angry about video games. I'm just saying that sometimes it's a little fruitless. It's unfortunate, but that's the case. I think it looks like shit. I think, I think the, 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 I, I, I think, I really do think that it looks like shit sometimes, but I'm still having fun at least. I just wish it didn't look like shit. It's like going to a buffet and you're like, man, all this food is really good. I wish there wasn't a guy next to me currently screaming into my ear going, ow, ow every every five minutes but you know other than that the food's good i'm having a great meal but yeah i i overall i don't think the situation will change unless there is an earth-shattering rupture of somebody like somebody's ass falls out because of pokemon scarlet and violet and i don't think it's going to change anything about the, how the pokemon company does business i don't think it's going to change anything regarding the next pokemon game um even though i wish it did i wish there was enough heat behind this outrage cycle i really do I wish there was enough heat behind this. I really, personally, I really do wish there was enough heat behind this, but there's not. Because that means the next one's also going to do this. The next Pokemon game is also going to do this shit. And then people are going to get angry again. And then two weeks later, something else is going to happen. And then a month and a half later, two months later, people will forget all about it. Because yeah, while I really do wish the game didn't look like shit, I'm still having a good time. Personally, I wish it was more like Arceus. I wish they took more from Arceus. I think Pokemon Arceus might be one of my favorite games of the last, like, 10 years, Pokemon-wise. I think this game could have been one of the best Pokemon games in the last 10 years. If they just had enough people working on it, maybe. Like, look at those... Look at those mountains. Like, the game looks a little dookie. I don't like that it looks a little dookie. I wish it didn't look a little dookie. But you see that mountain? You can climb that mountain. You can phase right through that mountain. But this game is more fun than Sword and Shield because I'm not miserable. I'm using my emotion index. How do I feel about this game versus Sword and Shield? Well, I remember being miserable playing Sword and Shield, and I'm currently not miserable. So if you could get one company to do a new Pokemon game, uh, what would it be? I would just want Game Freak to get the staffing and, and funds that they require to make a game that's not, and, and the time required to make a game that doesn't look like shit. That's it, that's simply it. I just want a Pokemon game that doesn't look like shit. This, but just better. Because this game is is fine. It has the traditional Pokemon shit, and it, it, it is a Pokemon game. I just wish it didn't look like shit. Like, dollars to dimes, basics to donuts, that's it. Basics to donuts, that's like literally all I want it to be is just a Pokemon game. But I just want it to not look like shit. I don't know, though. I say, fundamentally, uh, I'm not a game dev. I'm a consumer, right? So, I... I, I I, I know video games are fucking hard work, so I'd never blame Game Freak for what they have. I just wish they had more funds to make something that looked better. That's all it boils down to for me, is I really wish they had the funds and the time to make something better. Because there's a framework here for something really fun, and it is really fun. I just wish it didn't look like shit. That's it. I just want to be able to buy, like, gold and silver and heart gold and soul silver on the on the eShop. That's it. I just want to buy those games on the e I just want to be able to buy those games on the eShop. Is that, is that so much? Is that so hard? Is that so hard? How he hair float like that? That's because they got the magic inside of them. What if uh, in Overwatch 2, what if famous character from Overwatch and Overwatch 2, Doomfist, instead of saying, 
Uh, oh, hey, hi, one second. I, I have a joke to tell. What if famous character Doomfist from Overwatch 1 and 2, instead of saying Meteor Strike, when he uses his famous ultimate, he says Feet Ear Strike. And then he steps on you with his big feet. Oh my god, my Pokemon is having such, such a fucking rough go at it. Oh my god, he's really having a hard time. Is he supposed to be like this? Did I break something? Why does he look like he's holding in a fat piss? Hand my Pokemon a fucking vitamin C tablet. It's good for you. It's cold over here. I don't want you. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want you to get sick. It's cold out here. I don't want you to be sick. I want you to be happy and healthy, wealthy and wise. Got all that big turkey inside me. Hooey! Annihilate gonna be in a food coma after this fight. It's just a bunch of Ziploc baggies filled with little pieces of turkey, and they just keep taking it out of their non-existent pockets. Like, oh boy, I was certainly quite hungry. All right, what's your last one? What do you got? You gonna send a fucking dugong after me? I hate birds, kill it. You're gonna trestalize it into ice type. I know it, I'm in your head. I'm in your head, I'm in your head. This was the worst decision you've made all night. Worst decision. Worst thing you could have done, Grusha. Worst fucking thing. I have a big fist on my head, die. Done. Somebody write a fucking check. I gotta mail this guy three caskets. Come on, take a selfie with me so I can post it to my Snapchat. Thank you. I love posting to my Snapchat. Anyway, uh, no, and before I forget, you should take this too. Here. It's an e-cigarette. It's called a Jewel. If you want to be a lot cooler like me, you gotta hit this thing every five to ten minutes. Say something snarky. Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a good one. I hope I find the notched pickaxe up here. Warming up the audience for the main event. I'm the opening act. Aw, oh, awesome, dude. I love- I love cracking jokes and being an all-around silly guy. This is perfect for me. Like, I'm gonna say things like, What's the deal with airline food? And, Has anybody ever thought about how there's so many Pokemon based on so many things? And there's not a toilet paper or poop Pokemon? And then everybody in the crowd will laugh and clap their hands. Epic rap battles of history. Brendan versus Rhyme. Begin! Hello, my name is Rhyme, and my gym leader music is gonna be the exact same as the other gym leader's music. Because why would I change it for a music-themed gym, right? Why do you think- what- what the- oh, I gotta fight two at once? You gotta double battle me? You're the one gym leader out of eight that is a double battler. Okay. And the gym leader music is literally the same as all the other gym leaders. This is awesome. Oh, you got me. Oh, man. Oh, ouchies. My little feet hurt. Oh, oh man, you're gonna get me. Oh, my little feet, my little feet hurt. Oh, fuck it, mimic you disguise. They're Bonnet's dead, so. But but Bonnet more like Bazinga. Bye. I wanna learn the move Outrage. Sure, maybe. It's a dragon move. Oh, that's fun. You know what? I kind of want a dragon move. That'll be funny. Yes. Oh, Phantom Forces, my favorite Roblox game. Whoa! Where'd he go? Where he? Toxtricity. That's not even a ghost. That's a goblin. That's a creature. Ready? can you make fun of me for reaching level 170-something in Phantom Forces? No, that game is fun. Even though it's Roblox, it's still a fun game. It's like one of the, one of the, like, three fun games on Roblox. This thing a little scary. Now I'm a little confused. Brain a little hurty. Somebody get me my ibuprofen for my Pokemon! Please, Mr. Dondozo, can you stop pulsing me? Haha. <laughs> I've been a good boy this holiday season, and you confused me again, you bitch. Three times in a row I've hit myself. Three to- Three to- How many fucking- How many more times can this happen? And I hit myself again. Four times in a row. Please use Rage Fist and please hit. Please snap out of it. Nope. You're gonna hit yourself again, aren't you? Five times in a row! He literally killed me because I got confused and my Pokemon hit itself five times in a row. Oh god, Grubby. <laughs> Making my Pokemon flat. Run away, coward. Titan, what? Oh, is it also- oh god, oh my god, oh, oh god, what is happening? Why also the little guy? Oh no, fear is real actually, I'm afraid. I'm a little afraid now, please don't hit me. Ouchie! Oh, I'm so mad, I'm gonna go home and have sex with my girlfriend, I'm so mad! Look at him! Oh, he's happy and healthy after eating five rare sandwiches! But I was waiting for it to cut to like a fucking cutscene where he's like in funeral garb and he's in front of a grave crying. And then Mabostiff comes out and says, Huh, guess we really lost him to that random cave-in, huh? And then the grave has my name on it. I- <laughs> And then you see, game over, credits. Wow. This whole time it really was a Pokemon Violet. Oh, my cell phone be calling me. Hello, Professor Turo. 